Between the dates of 1861 through 1865, multiple battles molded the Civil War. There was much conflict in the U.S. when the southern states succeeded because they were being stripped of some of their freedoms, such as the ownership of African-American slaves. On April 12, 1861, the Battle of Fort Sumter started the American Civil War, and there was a large source of tension between the Confederacy and Union in the Union for several months. Confederate forces opened fire at the Union, holding Fort Sumter, but there was no loss of life on either side. Although in surrender ceremonies, a gun explosion on April 14 killed one Union man. Confederate forces around Charleston Harbor fired on the Union garrison, holding Fort Sumter. On the early morning of April 12th, the Confederate guns fired for three hours, but eventually the garrison inside the fort raised the white flag, surrendered, and was evacuated the next day. The Union was significantly outgunned, and after 24 hours, Major Anderson finally agreed to evacuate Fort Sumter. They say this was nearly, blood, nearly bloodless beginning to America's bloodiest war. The Battle of Bull Run was the first major battle in the lands of the Virginia armies. McDowell crossed along Sudley Ford to attack the Confederates on Matthews Hill. The Confederates successfully broke the Union's right border. This battle convinced the Lincoln administration, along with the Northern community, that the Civil War would be a long battle and pricey. The Battle of Shiloh occurred on April 6, 1862. 40,000 Confederate soldiers under General Albert Sidney Johnson's command killed a line of Union soldiers living near the Pittsburgh Landing on the Tennessee River. During the battle, Johnson was shot and bled to death. There were over 23,000 deaths. Johnson was the highest ranked general on both sides to die during the war. The Union, under the command of Ulysses S. Grant, won this battle. The Moral Act was signed into law by President Abraham Lincoln on July 2, 1862. This act was officially called an act donating public lands to the several states and territories, which may provide colleges for the benefit of agriculture and the mechanic arts. The act provided all of the states with 30,000 acres of land, but was then sold and the proceeds went to the funding of public colleges. Eventually, almost 70 colleges were funded by these grants, including Cornell University and Massachusetts Institutes of Technology. After the Battle of Anatom, Lincoln issued the Emancipation Proclamation. This stated that all slaves would now be free. After this, the Civil War had now become a battle for human freedom. This proclamation freed almost 3 million out of the 4 million slaves in the 10 states at the time, but it only applied to slaves that were in Confederate held lands. Lee led his army of Northern Virginia and intended to collect supplies in the abundant Pennsylvania farmland. The Confederacy was running out of supplies because they were poor and they were supplying themselves. There was a rumor of a shoe factory in Pennsylvania, and the North needed shoes. This was a three-day battle. The total casualties were more than 30% of those fighting. This battle lost 23,000 Union men, or, and they were wounded, and the Confederacy lost 28,000. Neither Lee nor the Confederacy would ever recover from the loss of Gettysburg or the surrender of Vicksburg, which occurred the following day. The Battle of Annie Tom was held on September 26, 1862, and General George B. McLean and his Union Army confronted Robert E. Lee's army. At dawn on September 17, General Joseph Hooker mounted an assault that started the Battle of Annie Tom. It was the single bloodiest day of American history. Abraham Lincoln and the Union claimed victory. This battle gave Lincoln the victory that he needed before giving the Emancipation Proclamation. Gettysburg Address was given on November of 1863. There was a ceremony held to dedicate a ceremony in Gettysburg. Abraham Lincoln only spoke for a little over two minutes. According to the historian Gary Willis, Lincoln's Gettysburg Address remade America. During his speech, Lincoln described the principles of human equality that are in the Declaration of Independence.
Sherman's march to sea started in Tennessee on November 15, 1864 and ended in Savannah on December 21st, 1864. The purpose of this march was to prove to the Confederate population that their government could not protect people from the invaders. Sherman divided his 60,000 troops into two wings, and Sherman's total war was in Georgia and was very destructive. The total war made it impossible for the Confederates to fight at full capacity. April 9, 1865, the surrender at Appomattox Courthouse took place. Robert E. Lee surrenders to, to Ulysses S. Grant, bringing an end to the Civil War after four years of battle. He surrenders approximately 28,000 troops to Union General Grant in a parlor of William, Wilmer McLean's home in Appomattox Courthouse, Virginia. On April 15, 1865, Lincoln is assassinated and Johnson becomes president. At 7.22 a.m., John Wilkes Booth, an actor and Confederate fan, shoots the 16th president of the United States. John Wilkes Booth planned on kidnapping the president, but Lincoln failed to come to the spot where they awaited him. December 6, 1865, the 13th Amendment abolishes slavery. This amendment was passed by Congress on January 31, 1865, and ratified on December 6, 1865. This amendment states, Neither slavery nor involunt involuntarily servitude, except as a punishment for crime, whereof the party shall have been duly convicted, shall exist within the United States, or any place subject to their jurisdiction. 